guys, and welcome to my channel. It's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond. And today, as you can see, we will be tackling cleaning my junky kitchen. I have let things get a little out of hand. So today, I'm going to bring you guys along as I clean my kitchen. I hope this will inspire you to get up and clean if you need to clean. I'm sure there's others out there like me that sometimes with a busy work life and taking care of family and school and sometimes things get a little out of hand. So sometimes we just have to stop what we're doing and just tackle those messes. And that's what I am doing today. So just sit back and enjoy. Hope this inspires you to get out and clean your messy kitchen.
that I really need to declutter. There's a lot of places in my home, in fact, <laughs> that I need to declutter and organize. And I'm planning on doing a series of um, organizing and decluttering and videoing it um, so that you guys can see. Of course, I am, as I told you guys, I have a known history of being, I call myself a baby hoarder. It's like I have so many issues of separating from different items. I always find a reason or something that I could do with the item or I could give it to someone that it really does not make much sense, you guys, to do that. But I do do it. And so the process might be a little difficult to go through and actually declutter and get rid of things, but I'm ready for the challenge. I am so tired of my house looking like this. So yeah, this is my plan. So I will be planning that. And here I'm showing you guys that my dishwasher, I'm using it to store Tupperware dishes. Like who else does that? I mean, when I first moved into this house, I did use the dishwasher. And then when Derek aunt moved in with us after a storm and her house flooded, she started doing my dishes, but she would always wash by hand. So it just seemed like after she left, I just continued to pick up that practice and I never went back and I always used that at storage. So I'm gonna to try to get those things cleaned out, thin out, declutter, reorganize, rethink my kitchen. Here I am moving my um, canister over that holds my utensils because I had them all the way in the other corner on the other side of the sink, which made it to the point of where I never used those things because they were not in easy access to the stove when I'm cooking. So I always wind up with two different utensils that I would use and I would keep them inside of the utensil drawer. So you guys, I am trying to make my kitchen functional. I'm trying to get my life organized because I am tired of the disorganization that is going on.
gave me for um, one of my Christmas gifts and I'm checking it out because I really love this cup. I love the cup. I love the saying and I just knew it had cracked. It had like these funny looking marks on them and I thought and it could have originally been like that because I really just discovered this cup from just opening up the gift basket <laughs> and I wasn't sure so and I love this cup and I'm like oh don't tell me I messed it up so I was trying to show you guys here with the little look like design or whatever's in it but um it was not cracked it's still functional which i don't think i was going to drink coffee out of it anyway i was going to use it in my um craft room as maybe um some type of holder or something there but i'm not for sure yet so right now it's just being housed on my coffee bar tell you it just feels good to be able to see the counters and not as cluttered I know from looking at your from your perspective some of the counters might still look a little cluttered to you guys 
and I know it looks like I have a million dish soaps but what happened is I had these things underneath of the sink and I wanted to finish using them because I didn't want to waste so that's why you see the bottle of palm olive the dawn dish spray I use that all the time for my tough stains I decided to put the nut canister over on this side so that Derek could see it it's right out in the open as well as my utensil bin um, I started putting my owls out. Those are my fall decoration, but I will be doing a fall decorate with me. And those were just there, so I just decided to go ahead and put them where I'm going to house them at. And yes, I got this Lazy Susan from Marshalls. I think it was like $7.99. I felt like it would just be easier to just have that um, easy access to... Um, the things and here I know um, I still have a lot of those Ray Dunn cups that I need to find a better way of storing them but for now that's how they are house this table is where I do mostly everything at it's my sit-down spot and I know that it still looks junky with my lunch bag and my work bag but this is easy access for me for them to be there um, when I get up I don't have to go looking for them it's there and I take it off and this is real life this is my house and this is where things are homed and that's why I did not take it out of the video I let you see my real life um, I share my real life with you of course we have way too many snacks I know for us to be on a healthy journey but sometimes we get weak <laughs> we get weak and so I do have some things here for those weak moments y'all these <laughs> these butternut squash I don't know if they're gonna make it my mom gave them to me and I have not done anything with them I wanted to make some butternut butternut squash soup but I just have not took the time to do that yet but anyway, it just feels good that my house, I can see the counters and things. Of course, you see the oxygen cores. That is my husband's lifeline. He's on oxygen. And I know you saw the um, concentrator, especially when I am not doing voiceovers or anything. You hear it. It is so loud that sometimes it's distracting in the videos. And I do apologize. But again, that is my husband's lifeline. And he needs that. This cup here, oh my God, how you doing? I saw it and I could not pass it up. It was a part of the Friends, um, the Friends little sitcom. And y'all remember Jack, I think he was the one that said, how you doing? But it was $9.99, it took everything in me to buy it. But I put it down and walked away and I had to go back and get it. I'm like, I cannot leave that cup because I love that. And of 